Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 2015 Los Angeles Auto Show. I'm Kristen Burt here at the Hyundai Exhibit at the LA Convention Center, where we are just moments away from the 2017 Hyundai Elantra reveal. We are so excited that you're joining us today. You can hear the excitement in here. It's loud, it's great. The press is all behind me. They're lined up, they're ready. We've got the video cameras. We've got all the photographers. And we also have a brand new exhibit here for 2015, 2016 auto show season. It looks absolutely amazing. Now what we're going to do is give you a behind the scenes look at uh, our video of what happened yesterday. It didn't look like this. It wasn't as smooth. It wasn't as polished. But we're going to show you what the auto show looks like the day before the show. Let's take a look at that video. Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Hyundai Mooner America, and we're at the 2015 Los Angeles Auto Show in downtown LA. What we're going to do is give you a behind the scenes sneak peek at the show floor the day before the press event. You'll get to see what it looks like before all the cars are on the floor and all the show kits are built. The show was founded in 1907 at Morley's Skating Rink. I have no idea where that is, but 99 vehicles were on display from 46 manufacturers. 3,000 attendees paid only 50 cents for the price of admission. The show celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2006, and the spotlight continues to shine on the biggest car buying market in the country. We're now inside the Los Angeles Convention Center, where you might recognize this atrium. It's a popular shooting location for TV, film, and commercials. We're now in the Hyundai Owner Lounge. This is a brand new exhibit for the 2015-16 auto show season. As you can see, it's a comfortable place to sit back and relax after a long day at the show. You can even plug in your smartphone because we know you want to be taking all of those photos. What we're going to do now, though, is show you a magnificent view of what it looks like still being set up. Take a look at this. All of the final preparations are happening just behind me. Cars are being rolled in. The exhibits are still being built, and in fact, a lot of people are rehearsing their lines for the press conferences. This is all in final preparation for the 2015 Los Angeles Auto Show. Quite an amazing transition, isn't it? It's amazing how they're able to do all of that in just 24 hours. And I just want to remind you, we are going to be doing live questions and answers for you throughout the broadcast. You'll see the Q&A box just to the left of your screen if you're on a laptop or desktop. If you're on mobile, it's just below the screen. But I'm going to introduce a man who's going to give us a tease about today's reveal, and that is Jim Trainer. He's the Senior Manager of Product Public Relations. It's loud. Come on over here, Jim. All right, we've got about two minutes. All right, I'll Give us back. a little tease of what's happening. So, start of the auto show season in the U.S., our all-new Elantra 2017 model being dealerships in January. Totally new. Um, no one here has seen it, so uh, we're ready. Uh, we're, we're ready to roll. You know, this has such brand loyalty with the Lantra owners. They buy one again and yeah. again and again. What is it that makes this vehicle so special? You know, Hyundai still speaks to value, but more and more it also speaks to quality, safety, and the things we're going to tell the media here in a couple of minutes, you're going to see when I'm talking about the, the advanced safety features, the, you know, smart trunk, for example, first in the class, uh, automatic emergency braking. I think Hyundai Prize, we're bringing down, you know, the, the features you see in high-end vehicles to the more mainstream vehicles. So I think that's the exciting thing about Elantra. Well, we can't wait to see it, and I know this is really an exciting year for Hyundai, and uh, thanks for the good tease. That was, we appreciate that. You're welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, and I hope everybody who's watching online is uh, ready for an exciting show. Thank you so much, Jim. Okay. Always a pleasure. Thank you. All right, we're just a few seconds away, and as I mentioned before, we will be doing live Q&A after the press conference. We'll be bringing in Dave Zukowski, we'll be bringing in the product manager and some of the designers, so you'll get to hear all of the inside scoop from us right here, immediately following the press conference. We want you to sit back, enjoy, get those questions in, and you will see that it all the magic begins in just a few seconds. Let's take a look at that countdown. All right, looks like about 10 seconds away. We're going to let it take over right now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please welcome the president and CEO of Hyundai Motor America, David Zukowski. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. I know it's been a long day. 
It's great to be kicking off yet another auto show season right here in Los Angeles. We all know that good things can come in small packages. We certainly proved it five years ago when we introduced our current generation Elantra right here at the LA show. It brought mid-size interior space, refinement, and design presence to the compact segment like never before. Later, in Detroit, Elantra took home the North American Car of the Year Award. And then, it proceeded to break all sales records on its way to becoming our best-selling model. Today, we're here to unveil the all-new sixth-generation Elantra, a vehicle which raises the bar in every single category over its highly successful predecessor. But first, let's put that launch into a broader context by addressing some recent headlines that may be on the minds of many of the media here today. Two weeks ago, in Seoul, Korea, Hyundai's global leadership team, led by our vice chairman, E.S. Chung, announced the global launch of a separate Genesis luxury brand. This decision clearly has considerable implications. First, it sets the stage for us to compete head-to-head -head against the world's most esteemed luxury brands with award-winning expansion of our product lineup well beyond what we have now with Genesis and Equus. We'll compete with innovative products, of course. That's a price of admission in those segments today. But also with equally groundbreaking ownership experience initiatives. We'll be introducing six new models to the Genesis brand with a distinctive design language. We tipped our hands to this direction with the recent preview of the Vision G concept car. This Genesis family will all feature dedicated platforms and powertrains, intuitive, human-focused technologies, and a convenient, hassle-free ownership experience. And these great products are all arriving over a five-year period beginning in 2016 through 2021. So it's a very exciting time for us and for our U.S. dealers who are working closely with us to jointly develop a comprehensive rollout plan for the Genesis brand. We'll be sharing more details with all of you about the Genesis brand at the North American International Auto Show in January. Now, something else this new Genesis brand strategy does for us is to better crystallize the vision for our primary Hyundai brand. We need to expand our Genesis brand while at the same time remaining very focused on and protecting the core customers who have made Hyundai such a great success in this market. We're in the midst of celebrating a series of landmark milestones for the Hyundai brand. Last spring, we celebrated our 10th anniversary in U.S. manufacturing with over 3 million vehicles built here so far. Just last month, we sold our 10 millionth Hyundai in the United States. And next year, in February to be precise, we will mark our 30th anniversary on these shores. It's been a remarkable journey. And when you step back and ask, how has Hyundai done this? Well, you can't help but sense a powerful force at play. That force is the Hyundai customer. They've played an essential role not just as our owners, but as brand advocates, and in effect, our business partners who are continually inspiring us to find newer and better ways to delight our customers. Disruption, of course, is the catchphrase of the moment in the business world. But the bigger disruptor is not us. It's the consumer. It's the way they behave and the rapidly changing society in which they live. By listening to them, very closely, we've made choices that sets Hyundai apart from the competition and allows us to more consistently meet and exceed consumer expectations and needs. We brought 
head-turning design to the mass market. We made amazing quality standard. In fact, Hyundai now ranks number two in J.D. Power's initial quality study among non-luxury brands. They had a Toyota, they had a Honda, they had a many other world-class competitors. And two of our models, Accent and Tucson, were recognized as number one in IQS in their respective segments. We've rapidly democratized premium technology, making them available to the mass market, including first in, se in segment safety, infotainment, and convenience technologies. You'll, help, you'll hear more about these impressive disruptor examples in just a few moments from Mike. This calendar year alone, Hyundai has collected a trophy case full of awards for delivering products that are not just best in segment, but they represent the best value as well. I'm especially proud of our Santa Fe scooping up the award for full-size CUV at the Texas Truck Rodeo. Believe me, if a Hyundai CUV can win in Texas, we can win anywhere. So this is disruption Hyundai style. It is who we are. We're inspired by our customers. We're going to continue to raise that bar with the most aggressive product launch schedule in Hyundai history. Ten all-new or significantly enhanced vehicles arriving in the next 36 months. The first of those ten launches is the all-new Elantra that you'll see in just a moment. It goes on sale in early January and will be launched nationally with great fanfare on Super Bowl Sunday. We see this as a perfect alignment of the stars for Hyundai. As the official automotive sponsor of the NFL, Hyundai will be simultaneously celebrating both our 30th and the Super Bowl's 50th anniversaries in a very, very special way. We'll have four commercials making their debut on Super Bowl Sunday, including a launch spot for this all-new Elantra. That's how important this launch is to Hyundai. Let me back that up with a few figures that may surprise you. Elantra is the sixth best-selling car in the entire world. More than 10 million Elantras have been sold globally over the last 25 years, over 2 million in the U.S. alone, which makes it our best-selling model. Today, we're going to continue to build on that amazing legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you now the all-new, sixth-generation Hyundai Elantra. This. This. And this. Ooh, look. This. Mmm, this. This. No way, this? Yeah, this. Check it out. This. Not this. This. Can a compact car have all of this and more? You have no idea. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the all-new 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and Chief Design Officer, Peter Schreier. You know, this is always the best moment for us designers to see our baby unveiled. 
And it's a very important one for us, an important pillar for our brand. For 25 years already, the Elantra has been a key measure of our progress. As our biggest success worldwide, Elantra is truly the heart of the Hyundai brand. And during every generation of its evolution, it has demonstrated the optimism of Hyundai. The very successful fifth generation Elantra won millions of fans by embracing eye-catching design in a family sedan. For this next generation, we have taken our very popular Elantra into a new, much more dynamic realm. A high deck contrib contributes to the car's aerodynamic proportions, which brings a lot more tension into Elantra's silhouette. And thanks to a wider body, Elantra's proportions have a better stance, making it more grounded. Dynamic wheel arches enhance the car's athletic stance and highlight the 17-inch sport wheels. And looking at it head-on, the signature hexagonal grille connects Elantra to the modern Hyundai family. Its dynamic personality is also defined by slimmer headlights and uh, striking vertical daytime running lights, LED, for an alert expression. And functional air curtains reduce aerodynamic drag in the, fr in the front uh, wheel well area. So clean controlled surfaces accentuate its higher, slightly larger proportions, which allow for more interior space. In fact, the EPA classifies Elantra as a mid-size sedan. Always important to me is the harmony between exterior and interior. The generous width of the instrument panel provides a feeling of roominess, and all buttons and controls are grouped intuitively by function. The center stack is angled toward the driver at pre precisely 70 degrees, so for perfect ergonomics. Everything is at hand. And altogether, the all-new Elantra builds on the Hyundai legacy of continued advancement and progress by bringing new confidence and, to, and sophistication into a very important segment. The all-new Elantra reflects a wider range of drivers' personalities and lifestyles. And this is why we gave it a sportier character, like a coupe. I call it a sport sedan, and we are all very proud of it. And now, to share some of the engineering advances, please welcome the Vice President of Corporate Product Planning at Hyundai Motor America, Mike O'Brien. Thank you, Peter. Hyundai, as many of you know, is not a company that settles for incremental changes. We strive for giant steps forward with every new product launch. The sixth generation Elantra is packed with innovations designed to delight the wide range of customers who made this model so successful, from millennials to baby boomers. Millennials come to Elantra seeking efficiency, smooth integration with their devices, and the technology that makes life more enjoyable. Many Elantra buyers will also be baby boomers who want to downsize from big family haulers, but still want all the refinement and content they've come to love. Women of all ages have driven a large proportion of Elantra's success. They were very much on our minds as we developed class-leading safety advances and our integrated memory system designed to accommodate both large and small drivers with greater ease. To delight them all, we began with the vehicle's body structure. Our engineers have more than doubled the use of advanced high-strength steel. This advanced material now comprises 53% of the overall structure. We've also increased the use of structural adhesives. In fact, we're using more than 40 times the adhesive in the all-new Elantra. So why is that important? As a pilot myself, I can tell you the way an aircraft is put together is something you can feel. The recent transformation from riveted aircraft structure to bonded construction has been remarkable. Structural adhesives used at airframe joints represent one of the most advanced and safety-critical applications of these adhesives. The high tensile strength of modern airliners, like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, is due in a large part due to their large-scale adoption of these structural adhesives. Today, airliners designing using fatigue load analysis to identify stress points 
and advanced adhesives provide for additional strength. That's why you feel that structural integrity at 40,000 feet, and adhesives provide that palpable benefit with minimal weight increase. And they work just as well for our all-new Elantra at ground level. Working in concert with the advanced high-strength steel, our large-scale adoption of industrial adhesives contributes to 30% greater torsional rigidity in the all-new Elantra and substantially more refined ride quality. There's also more room to enjoy it, with a 2.6-inch gain in rear passenger legroom and greater shoulder room for everyone. Inside this expansive cabin space, customers will find a number of exclusive features for the compact sedan category. They include thoughtful details, like display audio that features a 7-inch screen with smartphone integration, including Siri, hand-free integration, and Pandora internet radio. There's a larger navigation system that features 8-inch touchscreen using, uh, using along with dual USB ports. And Elantra will be among the very first vehicles offered with Android Auto at launch with support for Apple CarPlay coming in the very near future. And premium features like set the segment's first integrated memory system to automatically reset the power driver's seat and outside rearview mirror positions. The Elantra also introduces Infinity Premium Audio. This eight-speaker system features the segment's first application of Infinity's Clarify technology. If you download, stream, or play music on a digital device, your music is digitally compressed to the point where you lose many of the subtle nuances originally intended by the artist. Clarify restoration technology brings music back to life by rebuilding and restoring the natural rich sound regardless of format. Be sure to check it out in these two vehicles before you leave our booth today or come back tomorrow for your own sound check. Elantra also gets the next generation Blue Link system with features that include remote start with climate control, destination search powered by Google, Google and the ability to control many functions with Apple Watch and Android Wear. Other segment disrupting features include HID headlamps with dynamic bending capability, which direct the light beam in response to steering input. LED door handle approach lights, and the segment's first hand-free smart trunk release. Elantra also offers heated front and rear seats and dual-zone auto temperature control with automatic defogging. But perhaps the most impressive of all the advanced safety technologies offered in the 2017 Elantra. With these advances, we anticipate the all-new Elantra will receive both the IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus and the NHTSA's five-star safety rating. This is the first vehicle in its segment to offer automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection. The system alerts the driver not only when to brake for stopped vehicles, but also for a pedestrian in the vehicle's path. If the driver doesn't respond, the system will automatically apply emergency braking. But this is just one of the safety innovations you expect to find only in more expensive vehicle segments. Elantra also offers lane departure warning, lane keep assist, and lane change assist, blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, smart cruise control, high beam assist, and a backup camera with dynamic guidance. We think this all new Elantra will be the safest compact car in the market. Finally, you'll find some very impressive advances under the hood. We've developed two new engines, each delivering greater efficiency. Our SE and Limited models are powered by a new two-liter engine that achieves up to an estimated 33 combined MPG when mated to our next-generation six-speed automatic transmission, which retains positive shift points our customers expect. Our Eco model, which joins the SE and Limited later in the spring, will be powered by an efficient 1.4-liter engine that utilizes turbocharging and direct injection for torque-rich performance. And to further enhance efficiency and driving fun, it's made it to our seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. This Eco powertrain delivers an estimated 40 MPG plus on highway and estimated combined 35 MPG, which is unsurpassed in this segment. And we've got something else up our sleeve. Our most powerful Elantra Sport model ever, and details are coming your way very soon, just a little bit later next year. By the way, Although it has grown in size and added a lot of great content, the all-new Elantra is actually a few pounds lighter than its predecessor. It also gains an aerodynamic efficiency with better aerodynamic performance than the Toyota Corolla Eco, Ford Focus, and even the teardrop-shaped Nissan Leaf. So there you have it. As Dave promised at the top, the all-new Elantra is larger, 
its more refined, more sophisticated, rewarding sedan filled with segment-leading innovation. And we're eager to invite you up for a closer look, but not before reminding you of one of our favorite traditions here at LA. Every year, we kick off the auto show season with annual media reception. And I'm told it's going to be a real celebration. So once again, it takes place at the Hotel Figueroa starting this evening at 5.30. So please come join us. And thank you all for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, before you come up to take a closer look at the all-new Elantra, please give the photographers and our guests an opportunity to take their photos. Welcome back. I'm Kristen Burt here in the Hyundai Display. As you can see, tremendous excitement around the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. We talked a lot about technology, performance, the redesign, and to take us through all of this, we've got the man that knows this vehicle inside and out. We have Mike Evanoff. He is the Elantra product manager. Hi, Kristen. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Congratulations. How are you feeling in this moment? I feel fantastic. Uh, Peter Schreier mentioned it's always one of the proudest moments uh, when a designer sees their baby uh, unveiled. And I will add that as a product planner, it's also incredibly uh, satisfying and rewarding when you see your car unveiled. When we're looking at such a huge overhaul on a vehicle, how many years of planning does that take? A lot of years go into it. I've been working, you know, directly even more so for the last two and a half, three years. Um, especially more towards the end, it gets a lot more uh, intensive, so to speak. Um, so it's always building towards this crescendo uh, of the launch and then as eventually the on-sale date, which we're very much looking forward to. Now, this is what I'm interested in because this is a very competitive class, first of all, and you also have Elantra owners that are very loyal to that particular product. Do you feel the pressure and how do you surpass their expectation? Yeah, I always refer to this as a hyper competitive segment um, and we wanted to build on the, the current generation's car's success and push it even forward, not only for the Elantra nameplate, but also for the Hyundai brand because this is a, a vitally important car for us. Um, over 2.6 million vehicles of Elantra sold in the United States since it went on sale. Uh, last year it was 31% uh, of our total sales here in the United States, so hugely important to us. Uh, and focus on it and you know as with the units of operation of the current car and the loyalty as you say it's being so high uh, we really want to uh, um, not only attract those consumers as well uh, but also other uh, conquest opportunities as well because we think Elantra definitely steps up and is a very very competitive product. Well Mike a fun part of our segment is that we are taking live questions and you are going to give us the answer so um, I want to ask Marsha Banks question she wants to know what some of the safety technologies are available in the new Elantra and this is a very big story with this vehicle. Yeah absolutely if some of the, the features that Elantra has from a safety uh, technology standpoint, you wouldn't even dream of in this segment not too long ago. Uh, it starts with uh, blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, not only in our, our research, but also third party research. When you look at demand for safety features, blind spot detection is huge, almost always near the top. And then if you step back and look at it from like a global perspective, all the features, whether it be infotainment or whatever, uh, blind spot detection still is very high at the top of the list. Uh, happy to report blind spot detection will be available on you know, almost half of the Elantras out there. Um, but in addition to that, also uh, automatic emergency braking with segment first pedestrian detection. Um, so you know it can detect cars or pedestrians in front of you and warn you at first and then apply braking. And if you're still no response, uh, apply full emergency braking to get you to the stop. Also in addition, uh, lane keep assist, which senses the, um, the lanes down the road and can actually, if you start to drift away, just a little bit of corrective uh, steering torque uh, to kind of bring you naturally uh, back in. Also combined with smart cruise control, which allows you to set the cruise and basically it will automatically detect the distance to the cars in front of you and you can kind of relax and let all the uh, driver assists uh, take over for you. And, and But you all at the same time can also take control back if you so desire. So new Elantra owners have a lot to look forward to. I'm, yeah. Yes. Well, fantastic. Congratulations. I know this is a big moment for all of you. Thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of the day. All right. Thank you. you bet. Thank you so much. As we mentioned before, we are going to be talking to quite a few people throughout of all of this. Uh, now, we also have Dean Evans, the Chief Marketing Officer. He's going to step in and answer some questions for us. Dean, welcome. How are you feeling right in this moment? Very excited to be launching our Elantra. 
it's it's a big day for us. It really is, and there's a lot of exciting marketing initiatives behind the vehicle as well. Can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're really excited because we're merging Super Bowl and Elantra launch all at one time, and so we have a, a lot of it, positive momentum already with the car, but when we, when we springboard it on top of the Super Bowl, we expect really great results this coming year. And if I heard correctly, it's four spots that are going to be launched during the Super Bowl for that? Yes, the Super Bowl, we have four spots, one of which is going to be um, all about launching the Elantra. Yes. Uh, you know, and this partnership with Annabelle has been extremely successful. What's the feedback like from some of the consumers? Yeah, no, the consumer feedback has been great so far. Um, obviously, we're, like Dave said earlier, right, the centerpiece of our whole business today is our customers. And we listen to our customers. We listen to our customers for this product. We really listen to make sure we understood really what they wanted in this next generation car. And obviously technology, as you heard earlier today, is in the forefront of automotive overall. And this car we think is class leading because we really pack in a lot of technology that has usually been reserved for premium cars all the way down now into the compact segment. Uh, one final question, because you did talk about listening to the consumers. What was the number one thing you heard from consumers that they wanted on the next generation Elantra? The technology, right? You know, people are walking around with their smartphones today, day in and day out, and they want one they get into their vehicles today. The expectation is that experience follows them into the car, and the car duplicates or parallels that same environment and frequency of how they're using their smartphones. And so we listen to customers, and, and, and I think we really hit it on the mark with that. It's, you certainly did. So much excitement around the 2017 Elantra. Congratulations. You bet. Now, as I mentioned before, we are answering questions live. If you do have questions, they are there's a screen to the left of your little monitor you'll see. That's if you're on a laptop or a desktop. If you're on a mobile, that'll be right underneath the screen. Now, I know a lot of excitement. You heard him speak just a few moments ago. We do have Peter Schreier. He is president and chief design officer here at Hyundai. Peter, good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Yes, now we heard you talk a lot about the design. Yeah. What went into redesigning the 2017 Elantra? Pardon? What were you looking for in redesigning this vehicle? Well, you know, the, the already the, the last generation Elantra was a very um, successful car, and, and uh, we wanted to make it even more exciting and, and give it a more um, a coupe-like character, a kind of sports car-ish, you know, because we want to approach uh, and to, to uh, excite a, a, a big variety of customers and also young customers. And so I think what came out is um, a very, ni very nice, very, very sporty a sports sedan. Yeah, you can definitely see that. Do you have a favorite feature on the vehicle? Uh, what I really like is the front. If you look at it, you know, the way the, the hood is done and, 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 and the, the, the whole front with the grill and everything, the, head, the headlights, slim headlights. Uh, it gives it a very uh, um, distinctive expression, very alert, and I think that is very, really nice when you see it coming towards you uh, on the highway. Yes. Well, we do have a question coming in for you. It's from Timothy Berge. He wants to talk about performance on this. Any plans to make a sportier version with perhaps the 1.6 um, liter and 7 speed like in the Tucson and the Sonata? Well, a, a sportier version is coming. Uh, about uh, the powertrain and everything, you got to talk to somebody who is really uh, one of the technical people. But um, the looks of it is going to be very good. I'm also hearing he wants to know if you're going to have a hatchback version of this. Uh, it's not planned at the moment, no. All right. We, you're always good to get the inside scoop because you know what's going on with yeah. uh, the election. Sure, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank always good too. to see you. Thank and you congratulations Thanks. on the 2017 Elantra. Now, as you can see, that we are really talking to everyone. We're getting the inside scoop. If you look behind me, too, you will see all of the press. They're getting in the car. They're checking out the features themselves, not only the technology, but the redesign. Very exciting. Looks like we have a, oh, looks like Mike O'Brien is coming in. Always good to see you, Mike. Very good to see you. Yes, congratulations. I have to wait to go to a car show before I could see you. I know. Why is that? Yeah, I only see you at the car shows. And it's, you know, Los Angeles, Detroit. I see you in a few cities. America, <laughs> we'll talk about today's press conference and, and what it means to Hyundai. You know, this is our bread and butter. So this is our number one selling vehicle. It's our sixth generation. So we have so many loyal customers for this product. Uh, there's so much to talk about. We have the best design. We have a very advanced design, you know, led by Peter Schreier as a as design team. We have a lot to talk about in terms of body structure. So as I had mentioned earlier, 
Uh, we're a leader in terms of using aerospace-based, catalyzed, high-strength structural adhesive. So that's what brand new airliners are constructed with, and it gives them a much higher strength, much lower weight, and it gives it a much quieter uh, interior cabin as well. So we're giving our customers better safety by using ultra high strength steel along with these advanced structural adhesives, and we're giving them a much better ride and a quiet ride, as well as a safety rating. So we expect to get an IIHS rating of a, a top safety pick plus, which is the very highest rating offered by IIHS. And also by the federal government, the NCAP uh, ranking, we're expected to get a full five-star rating, the highest rating available from the federal government. That's really exciting news because I know a lot of consumers want that peace of mind, and, and that's really important that Hyundai is delivering that. Yes, keep in mind that many of the, our buyers are families, and they want to make sure they have good protection as well as good value. And we have a lot to talk about in the value department, too. So we have three new powertrains. Uh, we have the Eco powertrain that will deliver a combined EPA fuel economy of 35 and over 40 in terms of highway fuel economy. So big story there, we basically match the brand new Honda Civic and we do it with a great looking car. Uh, we also have uh, our core two liter powertrain which offers 33 combined MPG and then later we're gonna have a sport model come out later next year and that's a little bit of a secret now so I can't give, can't give away everything but let's just say it'll be the most powerful Elantra ever. You know, it's such a huge story with the Elantra and so much excitement around the brand. Congratulations. I know you guys put in a lot of hard work. Thank you very much. You bet. Good talking with you, Mike. Yes, in just a moment, we have President and CEO Dave Zukowski. We've got a lot of questions to ask him, not only about the Elantra, but he mentioned that Genesis brand. Let's see what we can get out of him. Dave, so good Hi, to see you. you. Nice to see you. Good. You know, big story today with the 2017 Elantra. There's a lot of pressure in this segment. How do you feel? I feel excited. I feel really good. The, um, the previous Elantra was a fabulous car, and it was, it was our number one best-selling model. Um, it really changed the way people thought about compact cars. And saying that, I will tell you that in every way, this car is better. And it's, it's just night and day different, better car. And so that's, that's really important. It's very rich. It's a very rich looking car. Its vehicle dynamics are absolutely tremendous. Its styling is very rich and elegant. The technology is something that you expect to find in a premium vehicle. And now you're finding it in a compact segment. So we're, we think it gives an awful lot to everybody. And we continue to think it's going to be the number one volume vehicle for us going forward. Very exciting. Yeah, huge milestones for the vehicle, and, and I also see 10 vehicles in the next 36 months. Yeah, we're going to be busy. Yeah. We're going to be awfully busy. So, so we're, we're in the process of rolling out the Genesis brand um, in the U.S. over the next five years. We've got 10 new products coming on the Hyundai side, so it's going to be a busy busy couple of years for us, which is all good from a, from a dealer perspective, from an employee perspective, from a consumer perspective. Um, it really signals our, our commitment to this market and our willingness to make the investments required to grow. Well, can you, what can you tease about that Genesis brand? When are we going to see or hear the more information? We're going to go to Detroit at the North American International Auto Show in January, and we're going to lay out uh, more details of the rollout of this plan. It won't happen overnight. You won't flip a switch and all of a sudden it's different. It'll be driven by product. And we've got a new product next year. It starts with the Equus. Then we've got, we're going to have five all new products over five years. Three of those products are in brand new segments that we don't operate in right now. So that means incremental volume potential, incremental volume or margin potential. So we're, we're uh, very, very bullish on it. And we just, we want it to roll out organically, not, not to one day all of a sudden it's all going to be different. We've been selling cars to premium customers for seven years, so it's not new to us. And now we're going to take that and grow. We're going to expand our lineup. And if you think about it, it really becomes difficult. If you end up with five premium models and you don't go with a brand to hold those under un as an umbrella, it just becomes very difficult to market them and to manage your showroom. And you get an awful lot of vehicles out there. So we think a, a Genesis brand with re uh, revised badging and revised alphanumeric nomenclature makes a lot of sense for a lot of reasons. It certainly does, and seeing the growth here for Hyundai is tremendously exciting. You are in demand yourself, so I'm going to let you go, but always a Thank pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Great you. seeing you again. Congratulations, you. Dave. As you can see, lots of excitement around the brand, not only around the Hyundai Elantra, but growth of the company as well with that new Genesis brand, which we have to wait until Detroit, but early in 2016, we're going to have all of that. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us again for this live broadcast of the 2015 Los Angeles Auto Show. I'm Kristen Burt for Hyundai Motor America. We'll see you next time.